Welcome to Deland High School, home of the Bulldogs. During this presentation, you'll have a chance to meet the principal of Deland High School, the administrators and deans, the lovely folks that work in student services, the lunch procedures, what to do if you're late or tardy to class, the dress code, social media issues, and emergency procedures. Who is the principal of Deland High School? Dr. Melissa Carr. Who are the assistant principals at Deland High School? There are five assistant principals at Deland High School. Mrs. Fuller is the AP responsible for curriculum and instruction. Mrs. Vega is our AP responsible for instruction and assessment. Mr. DiGirolamo is our assistant principal responsible for exceptional student education. Mr. Lucero is our AP responsible for data, student reporting, and accountability. And Mr. Troutman is our AP responsible for campus safety and student support. Who are our student support and security team members? Mr. Brown is responsible for campus procedures and student support. Mr. Davenport is responsible for facilities. And Mrs. Mitchell is responsible for student support and SEL social emotional learning. Who are our counselors? Mrs. Nunez, the director. Mrs. Hubs, responsible for ninth grade A through O. Mrs. Green, responsible for ninth grade P through Z. Mr. Delbray, responsible for 10th graders. Mrs. White, responsible for the 11th graders. Mr. Michaels, responsible for the 12th graders. And Mrs. Carter for the IB and also 12th graders. This year at Deland High School, we will have two lunches. The first lunch will begin at 12 o'clock to 1246. Then the students will report to fifth period at 1252 to 140. Those enjoying the second lunch will report to fifth period first at 1206 to 1254. Then their lunch will take place at 1254 to 140. Please see the times listed below for early bell schedule release. Please review the lunch map to determine your lunch schedule by your fifth period class. Those having classes in buildings 6, 7, 8, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and all portable classes will have lunch one. And those with fifth period classes in buildings 1, 2, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 will have lunch two. There are three designated areas for students to enjoy their lunch. The cafeteria, the dog bowl, or outside of the old gym. Students, please pick up your trash to keep our campus clean. Students are not allowed to order food or have food delivered to Deland High School. That means no Uber Eats, no Grubhub, no Pizza Hut, Jimmy John's, or Domino's to name a few. Once again, students are not allowed to order food and have it delivered to Deland High School. As far as the dress code for students at Deland High School, the shirt must be any solid color collared polo or Oxford style shirt or any school related tee. Pants, any solid color bottoms, no rips or tears. Social media, think before you post online. Please ask yourself these questions. Who might be able to read this? Could someone misinterpret what I'm saying? Am I posting in anger? Am I showing a bad side of myself? Could someone feel disrespected? 
Am I revealing too much about myself? Remember, technology is neither good nor bad. It's what you do with it that makes the difference. Bullying and harassment are not acceptable behaviors. Both are level three offenses that could lead to a suspension. Please report any bullying or harassment to any adult on campus. There are three anonymous boxes located in the main office, student services, and the Student Support and Security Center. Students will be permitted to enter classroom after the final bell, but are considered late. Students may receive three tardies per nine weeks before a referral is given. How does the tardy policy work? Late number one just goes in the grade book. If you're late the second time, still record it in the grade book. Once you're late the third time, still goes in the grade book, but teacher makes parent contact. Once you're late the fourth time, it's recorded in the grade book, teacher will still make parent contact, and the teacher will complete a discipline referral. Students will receive a referral for being late until the next grading period. Students, be on time. All late arrivals to campus that cause you to be late for class are required to check in at the gym ticket window. If you happen to receive a referral, a discipline referral, please report to Building 9100, which is Student Support and Security Center. Once you arrive, please sign in and wait to be seen. The Land High School is an alcohol, drug, and tobacco-free zone. Possession, use, or distribution of any of these products is strictly prohibited, and any student who violates this policy will be referred to appropriate law enforcement agency, suspended from school, and may be recommended for expulsion. Crime Stoppers is the anonymous hotline to report suspicious activities. If you see something, say something. You can also report suspicious activities to any security team member on campus. If you are injured and need minor medical attention, please inform your teacher and your teacher will complete a clinic pass. If it's a major injury, stay put and assistance will come to you. The clinic is building three, which is located between the new and the old gym and directly behind the main office. Emergency procedures. Starting this year, we're implementing just the name of the drills. We are going away from stating the colors along with the drill. For this presentation only, I have the colors in the background as a reference. Lock down hostage weapon. Lock all doors and windows. Close blinds and curtains. Continue with classroom instruction. Make sure no student leaves the classroom. Bomb threat. Move to evacuation area. Classroom doors should be unlocked. Do not use or allow use of electronic devices. Notify security team of suspicious objects. Severe weather tornado. Close all doors and windows. Class will move to safe areas by announcements. Classes in the portables will relocate and students outside for physical education will relocate in the gym. Hazmat, lock all doors and windows. Close blinds and curtains. Continue with instruction. Make sure no students leave the class. All thermostats must be turned off. Active shooter. There are three simple actions you should take when you hear gunshots. One, run. Run, if safe to do so, to a safe area outside the building and call 911. Hide. Find a safe location, room, lock the door and turn off the lights and call 911. Fight. Fight the shooter as a last resort after all other options have been exhausted. More information can be found on campus safety and security on our website at www.thelandhs.org. Our motto this year is Stronger Together. Let's go Bulldogs!